One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I can, I can swear now. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my God, that really hurts. What the hell? Holy moly. Oh my God. Wow, that stings. Ugh. I built a big ass torque wrench. I had to count down to seven because the video will get demonetized if you swear in the first seven seconds. That's not a joke. I just walked through a spider web. You walked through a spider it's web? On it's on me. There's a spider web. Is there no, there's spiders there's on no me? spider. It's, like it's on me. Oh, it's crawling in your ear. Let me. Oh. Here, let me let me show you my torque wrench. <laughs> on this end is a 250 foot pound half inch drive Harbor Freight torque wrench, and then we've got this like one and a half inch steel pipe. And then on the end is a one and what is it, 11 sixteenths socket. Why would you need a thousand foot pound torque wrench? Actually, this thing could do 1,250 foot pounds of torque. Well, you see, oh dear. I bought an old crappy excavator. I don't have to explain it again, you know that already. And I'm resealing the cylinders that are on the blade. This is one of the hydraulic cylinders from the blade of the excavator. This is the blade. It goes up and down with these cylinders to help stabilize the front of the excavator while digging. It's, it's great, the blade is awesome. The issue was it kept dropping down. One of the cylinders is leaking when they're up, but not leaking when it's pushed down. The problem is that one of the nuts that's supposed to be torqued to a thousand foot pounds was loose. And it's a very important nut because that nut holds this piston on. And this piston is what's receiving all of the force of the hydraulic fluid and actuating up and down. It literally has to eat all of the force of this thing, which is like tens of thousands of pounds pulling on this. It put a bunch of wear marks on the piston head, a bunch of wear, it's like basically uh, bad. Yeah. I've actually never really torqued anything before. So it's like, okay, cool, a thousand foot pounds. How bad could that be? And then you go to Harbor Freight and realize that the, the largest torque wrench they have goes up like 250 foot pounds. And that's when I realized I was in trouble. So I went on Amazon and, and then realized it would cost probably $500 to buy a torque wrench or all the equipment to do a torque wrench up to a thousand foot pounds. So I made my own. I don't know what I'm doing. Does anybody know what they're doing? Clean the threads. Get all the oil and grease and grime and dirt off the threads. When the blade goes down, the cylinder extends. And so that piston head pushes it against here and I think it's sealing against that. But when you lift the blade up, because the nut wasn't tight, it would pull the piston back a tiny bit and then it would slowly, fluid would leak through the threads through the hole into the other half of the cylinder. That's why the blade was sealed when you pushed up on it, but leaking when you pushed down on it, I think. Loctite, new nut, well, now we gotta torque that to a thousand foot pounds. It's twerking time. Oh, <sighs> don't buy new things. Don't buy a vice. Don't buy the right tools. Just use what you've got. How does my DIY torque extender multiplier work? Well, step one, you fuck. Put your big socket on and then this is really inconvenient. Okay, then you put it on. Based on some simple math, if you put 200 foot-pounds of torque right there, it turns it into about 1,000 foot-pounds of torque right there. So once this clicks, it means there's 200 foot-pounds generated there, times five feet is 1,000 foot-pounds. Watch this whole nut shear off. Oh, there it is. That's a, look at, so you see how the bar is deflecting? If you were to measure the angle of deflection, you could literally measure your torque based on the deflection of that bar. And that's how the torque wrench works. Now we've torqued our nut to a thousand foot pounds with a torque wrench that cost 150 bucks instead of 500. I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like Will's house was built out of an old Wendy's. Hit that like button if you agree. Uh, yeah, I would, I would like one Dave's single with a Diet Coke, please. <laughs> okay, yeah. You're saying this looks like a Wendy's? <laughs> yeah, it does. <gasps> no! No! Ah! Ah! So this has to go on here before you put Before that. I torque it. Are you, oh my God. <laughs> that was me, Chelsea, don't worry. <laughs> I, I, put, I took the pin out. Did I, did I carry the pin down there? Back on. Uh, okay. <sighs> Let's look at the school bus. <laughs> it's so dusty. If you didn't already know, Kevin is the proud owner 
of a of a brand new tool bus. The bus is on fire. The bus is on fire. You have to figure out how to escape in uh, two minutes. Or you're dead. Oh, or I have to do it? Well, pretend, yeah. Wait, yeah. is it really no, bad? You do. Okay. It's bad. It's okay. bad. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I feel like I'm on an airplane and the pilot is drunk. <laughs> no! Okay, so it's latched. I'm gonna turn. So one is turn, two is push. Oh! Wait, wait that worked way better than when I first did it. No, never mind. Screw this wait. whole bit. This whole bit's dumb. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Have you been up here before? Yep. It smells, still smells like burnt car. <laughs> oh, you think we can drive this around on Halloween and throw candy at kids? <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Basically, this is the sort of final part of the cylinder is this cap right here that threads on and seals the whole thing. It's like really annoying to put this, this wrench in there because it just pops out. There's two little holes. And it, the more tension, the more torque you put on it, the more likely it is to just sort of, whoop, you know, like trying to put dogs in the bathtub or <laughs> in an <laughs> ah. Ah, Okay, I gotta, oh my Jesus Christ. Both cylinders are in. So I guess I just have to turn it on and see if it, uh, if it leaks still. I hope it starts because the brand new battery I put in it is dead already. Yes. All right, it goes up. It's gonna be leaking. I don't see it dripping. All right, it looks like it's staying. Normally it would be dropping by now, so I think I fixed it. This is amazing. I'm so proud of me. Sometimes you just need the W. You need the win. After days of no wins, you know, your mental health starts to deteriorate. And just, you know, finishing one task, sometimes it's all you need. You know, just finishing that one task is sometimes all you need. I'm gonna dig a hole now. I try to avoid it, but I need your guys' help. I need new control sticks for the excavator. You see these old rubber things? This one, it's completely gone. I need new handles. These ones are too eroded. I'm missing this one. I need new handles for the excavator. So I don't have enough skill. I don't have the skill to round out. Where did, shit, where did it go, Kevin? I have the CAD skill to make this hexagon shape that it goes on, but I don't know how to model, you know, a nice comfortable grip up top. So I'm gonna give you guys the dimensions of this handle right now. And if you could model me new grips and then send them to my PO box, I'll test out the different grips you guys make. You have two weeks to make me new excavator grips. And send them to my PO box. The address is in the description below. It's 7173. 737. Seven, seven. I'm so excited because these are so uncomfortable and corroded. Don't do anything weird though.